you know, to be completely honest with you, even though I like, like I might say, oh yeah, I'm lucky to be sitting in a bathroom, and like I'm lucky to be able to use the bathroom. There are some things to cycle touring that are advantages, like you have access to things more readily, but to be honest with you, I think I would rather have wood. Like, I would actually rather go to the bathroom outside in the woods than to use a dirty uh, resource wasting restroom. But clearly, I mean, obviously not everybody can go outside, especially because I'm right next to a campground. So, you know, they don't want the people, the campers, like, camping, don't want a bathroom outside. Anyway, that is my thought of the morning. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Um, it's about five in the morning. But yesterday I got in here at about, probably like, 2.30 and uh, my, my knee, the back of my knee right here, this, this hamstring part, oh, I was hurting really badly when I was riding. I don't know if that's because I'm riding in Crocs or if that's because something else is messed up with my seat or something like that. This is what I'm thinking at the moment. So I just looked at the weather and there's 20 mile an hour winds coming out of the west. And um, yeah, with my knee being the way it is, I uh, don't really feel like battling into 20 mile an hour winds uh, all the time for like 500 miles. So. Wanting to hitchhike to the other side of South Dakota, North Dakota, I'm sorry, cycle back here to this exact point, and then I will hitchhike again to the other side of North Dakota and continue on my way. Hopefully, the winds will be better. If not, I will do the same thing. That's what I'm thinking. Sounds crazy, but uh, but yeah, I think that's what I want to try to do. Plus, it would give me a whole day to rest, basically, because I'd be hitchhiking the whole day, trying to get to the other end of North Dakota. That sounds fun, honestly. So let me try to do it. Here I am, uh, starting my hitch across North Dakota. Here goes nothing. Not go through the windshield because it's so dirty. You might want to go watch your windshield. Oh, it adds so much character, <laughs> though. You know, <laughs> my muddy. All right. Well, I just uh, hitched a ride with this family. They were awesome. They had 12 kids. They were dog breeders. And they were just super cool to talk to, so shout out to them for giving me a ride. I made it to mine, and so I'm almost all the way across North Dakota. That was pretty fast, because <laughs> I got a ride. I am headed for Williston next, and from there, I will head east. I am very much looking forward to the tailwind from the east as you can probably hear it in the microphone. It looks like I've got 126 miles to Williston. To Williston. I look forward to that 126 miles. Alright, so this is a totally new experience for me. Uh, this lady She's giving me a ride 80 miles, but she told me I had to ride in the back of her truck. Yeah, that's 80 miles in the back of a truck.
Oh, I survived the 80 mile hitch in the bed of a pickup truck. And uh, it's about time to make camp for the night. So I'm gonna go set that up. And tomorrow I've got a little bit more hitching to do. Uh, you can see here by this sign, I've got 34 miles to Williston. All right, now it's time to head east and I got a nice tailwind, which is exactly what I was looking for. So, let's get on our way. You think it's gonna rain? I do. All right, y'all, new max speed, 39.4. I was a little bit terrified. <laughs> the wind was blowing and oh, it was a little bit scary, but it's okay, it was a lot of fun. Man, North Dakota has been beautiful so far. I am so pleased. This is by far the best road that I've ridden. Uh, I don't wanna say the best because they all have their pluses and minuses, but this one was pretty sweet. Gotta go, bye. Well, I'm searching for town or somebody told me about a bridge I could sleep under, but I'm just enjoying riding right now. I'm at 82 miles right now and I think town is at 90, so I might be at 90 miles for the day, which is pretty cool. My hands are so dirty. Look at that. Gross. Everything out here is just dirty as fuck. Anyway. Peace. Check it out. Got me some new kicks. Broke my tent stake. All right, came out of mine. Uh, I'm feeling so good. After you get a nice favor from somebody, you know, you just. All right, we're gonna go to the Prairie Village Museum. gonna look around yeah there is a there is an entry fee oh is there yeah oh I'm sorry <laughs> That's okay. we're not paying too much attention we're I doing all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> okay well yeah. um are you a student no I'm riding my bike you're riding your bike yeah okay well you could I mean it's six bucks if you want it's really cool back there uh I yeah no I don't have don't money have... for that okay okay yeah I'm kind of on a strict budget okay so. Um, well, if you want to just go back and peek for a minute, if you go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right, we'll, we'll be hush-hush about it. <laughs> All right, so so the lady let me come in here and, uh, and have a little visit in the museum, and we're gonna keep it quiet. Well, I guess that was worth it. I wasn't gonna go to uh, to that museum, but I just kind of was thinking, oh, well, might as well. And uh, ended up being pretty dang cool. Oh yeah. What's your measure? 
damn, what a fucking weird ass. Like, fuck that guy. He wanted to fucking take me and rape me or something like that, I don't know. But today we're actually looking at finishing up North Dakota. And then we'll be on to Montana. Oh, all right, I'm taking a break here at the uh, local park. I am in Lakota, North Dakota. Oh man, somebody's making hot dogs and it smells so good. I wish I could go yogi some off of somebody. Ah. Oh. is the final creation. I can without a doubt say that this is the most facial hair I've ever had. I got 49 to Grand Forks and it's 229. Let's do it. 25 miles, 25 miles left in North Dakota. Almost done with this bad boy. That's really exciting. Got stuff in my teeth? Hopefully not. Uh, it feels really good to almost have another state done. I'm really looking forward to Montana. Um, getting up right next to those, right next to the Rockies. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did this time, which is I'm going to hitchhike all the way across the, well, I think I'm going to hitchhike about halfway across the state. And then I'm going to cycle east. Here we have North Dakota. The rest of the United States, I rode up here, Minnesota, and I got here. And then I decided that the wind was too strong. So I hitchhiked all the way over here and I rode my bike Now I'm here again And Montana looks something like that The mountains are here Right at that line so I'm going to hitchhike from here to here and then continue to ride this way. It is 753 miles to get to this point. Does that make sense? I hope it does. That's what I have planned for the day. Uh, I'm gonna start hitchhiking and see, you know, if I can meet some cool people. Hopefully it'll go well. I'm gonna try to get all the way across North Dakota today and handle Montana tomorrow. But if I could get to where I'm at in Montana today, that would be cool too. I think it's Sunday. I got a package coming on Wednesday. So, I think it should work out. Anyway, it's early. Oh, I still need to get my breakfast. And then I'll get on my way. Montana will be top notch. I know it. Oh, Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. See you then.